What's good, guys? Prince Sports here, and I'm coming at you with another one. NFL news, all right? Now, my favorite position in the sport of football is running back, all right? I love that position. I love the excitement of, you know, um, one man against a whole team, you know, trying to score on them. Um, it's dangerous, and it's exciting at the same time. And two of my favorite running backs of all time that I like talking about the most is Marshall Falk and Barry Sanders. So I thought of... Let's do a, a player comparison and see which one of these guys will rank out on top. Now, Barry Bonds was basically the originator of the running back position in terms of entertainment value. Okay, he was he was showtime. A lot of people would tune into the NFL just to watch Barry Bonds play. Okay, he played on the D Detroit Lions for most of you know for his career, and. Um, he played a very short amount of time. That's the biggest knock on Barry Bonds' career. But a lot of running backs don't last more, no more than five years, especially in today's NFL. You know, they seem to run out of juice very fast. So the fact that Barry Bonds was able to put up and leave the game of football with all his faculties still intact was great. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could make a case he retired a little bit early. But, hey, it's not about how long you play. It's what you do while you're playing. I mean, so that always comes first. Now, both of these guys have tremendous records in terms of rushing yards. Um, uh, believe it or not, Marshall Falk um, has a little less, you know, than uh, Barry Bonds, even though Barry Bonds plays shorter amount of time. So that's an edge to Barry Bonds, so to speak, you know. But here's the thing. Marshall Falk got a Super Bowl ring. He went to the Super Bowl twice. And Marshall Falk has something that Barry Bonds never had. Marshall Falk was called the best player in football. You know how hard it is it how hard it is to be called the best individual player in football? Because football was always one of those sports, okay, that was so team orient oriented that people never bothered mentioning and saying, "Oh, this guy's the best in the whole entire sport okay that is incredibly hard to get Barry Bonds was exciting but nobody wasn't calling him you know the best uh, player in the whole entirely of football you know and Marshall Falk much like Barry Bonds they had the moves you know what I'm saying they could get past their defenders this, this quick um, spin around incredible speed you know usually it's the shorty do bops that got the speed in in the NFL that those are the ones that are really quick you know what I'm saying and um, Barry Bonds was a, a good cessation you know in the 90s you know and things of that nature and um, you had the early 2000s with Marshall Falk doing his thing but I have to give the edge to Marshall Falk just for the simple fact that he had that title of best in the world and he got a Super Bowl ring he should have two because when they got spanked the last time and he was just sitting there pouting, I mean, like, damn, he got completely shut down. And this is when you was calling him the best NFL player in the game. And I think that probably went to his head a little bit, you know what I mean? Because he didn't show up for that, that, big, that big game, which was the Super Bowl. You know, his team kind of got wrecked, just proving any, even more that it's, uh, it's a team sport. You know, it's definitely proven even more that it's a team sport. So with that being said, man, he still got one, though. And he's just as good as uh, Barry Sanders um, number number wise. I mean, Barry Sanders has some some advantages over him, you know, and he did it, you know, in pretty respectable time. But winning does factor into certain aspects. I mean, it factors into all aspects of sports. You know, you have to have some form of hardware and that's the most biggest hardware there is to have you know so yeah man i'm giving the edge to marshall Falk as the better running back you know and um it is what it is in that case man you know he's basically was called the best player in the game mvp of the league yeah barry barry bond i mean barry bonds barry sanders started it off but this is one of those situations where the guy that comes after Barry Bond Barry Sanders gets to surpass him and I give the nod to Marshall Falk you know he learned from Barry Bonds but he ended up ultimately suppressing him
Press Sports out. Peace.